ICICI Bank, the second largest bank in India, is in the process of implementing a two-pronged approach towards serving the bottom of the economic pyramid in a sustainable and commercially viable manner. ICICI is delivering loans directly to the rural poor through innovative microfinance efforts and is increasing their points of distribution in a cost-efficient manner through the partnering with NGOs and MFIs that have already established rural networks. At ICICI, we are actually seeing now the rural economy uh, and the entire rural area as being the next future engine for growth. The partnership model was developed to reach out to rural areas where ICICI does not have branches. The aim is to combine the social mobilization strength of NGOs and MFIs with the financial strength of the bank. Now how do you go and serve people who earn a dollar a day? Well, a dollar a day is thirty dollars per month, and if you can send, take fifteen cents per, or twenty cents, or ten cents, or fifteen cents, it's not a very significant amount per month. Huh? And if you can make a business model which works on that, that will make a huge difference. The key to this is number one, providing finance, delivering low-cost, affordable technologies for these kind of platforms. Enlog is a company started by Dr. Ashok Junjanwala of the Indian Institute of Engineering and PG Ponapa to provide access to information to the rural poor through the provision of internet service. The mission of Enlog is to significantly enhance the quality of life of every rural Indian by driving the digital revolution profitably. This project is a venture-backed commercial entity meant to be a sustainable business. Enlog's vision is to provide 200 million telecom and internet connections in India's small towns and rural areas. ICICI has partnered with Enlog and envisions placing rural ATMs to provide access to savings and credit in every kiosk that Enlog has developed. By piggybacking on efforts of Enlog and other such kiosk operators, ICICI has found an effective and low-cost way of providing banking services to the rural poor. Today we have more than 8,000 self-help groups, uh, which covers more than you know 150,000 persons. Uh, so therefore, at least 150,000 families, which are uh, getting impacted by this. You know, these have been cases where the ladies were not even stepping out of their houses. But today they have the confidence of not only sitting in groups, but actually debating on some of the social and economic issues of the village. <laughs> I think one thing that happens in fact with ladies is that when a lady develops, actually it contributes to development of four people, you know, because uh, you know, she doesn't think only of herself. If, if anything good happens to her, I think that good gets shared with the husband, with the children. So by touching one life, you're touching at least four lives or five lives. The real empowerment that we are looking for is the total empowerment of the individual. And I think that makes a huge amount of difference. And that, I think, is real empowerment. 